Don't you just love that fucking piece of shit operating system also known as Microsoft Windows 10? Este es Aaron con y de enacomputers.com Otro video para ti hoy Uy ve man Another problem with Microsoft Windows 10 Now this one could be related to to Windows updates but I'm not 100% certain but I'm suspicious I'll cut to the chase Here was the request from an individual on a third party website where I earn supplemental income answering computer and technology related questions and continuing to go mentally insane or continuing with my mental illness and I will be interrupted because I just started some water I use a rice cooker for many oh I love my rice cooker I use it for all <laughs> I don't need to well I don't like to eat cooked food but I do eat a little bit of brown rice and I do consume some steel cut oats and you have to cook brown rice and you have to cook steel cut oats otherwise it'll make you sick or it can make you sick if you try to eat it raw windows 10 so i'm going to get interrupted so i don't script my videos i freestyle them and i don't give a fuck if you're offended by that so eventually in about 10 minutes i'm going to check my water because it's boiling and then i'm going to seep my green tea and i might even drink it on air oh my god aaron aaron god damn it aaron stop it aaron aaron oh, don't you dare video capture the the brand Aaron! oh my god your our sponsors are gonna drop you Aaron! oh shit aaron i don't fucking have sponsors because i never want sponsors why the fuck would you want sponsors all they're gonna do is tell you you know how to comb your hair you better put makeup on you better have a wig or you better have spectacles you better make a spectacle of, but, but you don't want to make too much of a spectacle of yourself and how dare you cuss and oh my fucking god becoming a vegan has been a transcendence of consciousness that i wasn't quite ready for all right video tdr failure nvldd mkm.sys this that this was their request. Windows 10 video underscore TDR underscore failure. NVL D D M K M dot sys video TDR failure. Well, I'm not gonna bash this end user because this individual knew what they were doing. They knew how to go into a command prompt, they knew how to kick off SFC scans, they knew how to kick off check disk. They, I, think, I think they were a gamer, but they knew quite a bit about computers. But they just still decided to have me remotely connect and help them out. Although, this one turned into a fucking quagmire, but you know what I'm saying? So basically, what that .sys file, that is the NVIDIA, part of the NVIDIA driver, video graphics driver subsystem. If you were to Google search. Also, TDR, if you were to... Just perform a quick Google search. Video TDR. And you'll find out some additional information. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's not just... I don't think it's exclusive to NVIDIA. Because you could get the same video TDR failure error at the beginning... And then towards the end of that error, you 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 will get the video graphics maker file that's causing that. Now, to me, there could be many reasons why this error is occurring. All right, enough with the bullshit screen capturing fucking Google. I'm always suspicious on a Microsoft, Microsoft, micro crap, micro shit, wind blows operating system that it could be malware, spyware that is causing that problem. I always include that as part of my troubleshooting even though I think it may not be. I just out of habit I do it cuz oh yes. Oh yes. Malware, spyware, viruses will fuck with your video drivers. As a matter of fact, they will I don't want to digress too much, but they will fuck with your video graphics drivers. And then l let me go back historically. Once upon a time in 1995 
as a very younger male in this wretched continent called, you know, America, which was stolen from my ancestors after my ancestors, 95% of them were murdered off. Well, you got this pale-skinned European clown called Bill Gates, who to me is a shill for the world order. Well, this is a historical fact, and you can prove it yourself. When Bill Gates first demonstrated live on stage in front of television cameras the release of Windows 95, well, guess what happened? He turned on that computer. I don't know what computer it was. I can't tell you what the hardware was. I just don't know. He booted up that computer, and then Microsoft Windows 95 tried to boot, and guess what? It blue screened. <laughs> The first time they tried to demonstrate Microsoft Windows 95, it blue screened. And Microsoft has not changed. It's not a real legitimate technology company. The, the system is 100% rigged. You must understand that these people that run these corporations, they have connections that you don't. A lot of them are members of secret societies. Or they're in bed with the military industrial complex or they're aristocracy, plutocracy, oligarchs. So a lot of these billion dollar tech companies make nothing but junk and trash, but they market to you as gold when it's nothing but fool's gold. Microsoft has not changed. Windows, I don't know. Back then I was using Windows 95 and when I saw that on screen I was like embarrassed because I was like I just went out and that's when I bought my first computer not too long after that and I upgraded it from a 486 to a Pentium motherboard and then I went from Windows 3.11 for work groups to Windows 95 and I was like what the fuck and oh yes Windows 95 was a disaster. Anytime you would load a driver, you could get blue screens. Well, you fast forward over 20 years. Over 20 years I've been at this. Nothing has fucking changed. You still get obsessive compulsive blue screens with micro shit, micro crap, micro slop, wind blows operating system. Nothing's changed, man. Now, let's see. I will quickly go through my troubleshooting steps. Okay, use my preferred PC optimization tool. Click on the link in the description box below that will take me, you to my blog post on my website, inacapeers.com, where you can read the abstraction and get full instructions and you know, blah, 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 blah. And then all, you can also check inacapeers.com, click on resources, and you'll find out what my preferred PC optimization tool and I also ran a malware spyware scan with my preferred spyware tool, which is also linked in the blog post. This individual had a third party malware software that is a piece of shit to me, and I hate it because of certain reasons. I've talked about it before in a lot of my videos. But I don't want to give that piece of shit company any free advertising. No. But I, I decided to use that software because it was already installed and the, it was updated and it was functional. It did not find any objects. My preferred spyware scan tool did not find any objects. Now, my preferred PC optimization tool, it almost always finds gigabytes of junk on the hard drive and thousands, hundreds if not thousands of registry entries. That found a bunch of stuff. I ran a system file check. You're gonna have to open up a command line with administrator rights and type in SFC forward space forward slash scan now. All of those instructions are included in the blog post. So you might wanna click on the blog post that will link to down below in the description box. It'll take you to my blog post on my website, anetcomputers.com, where I have all the instructions already available for you. <sighs> The check disk scan was also triggered. Didn't fix the problem. Now, 
one major problem with Microsoft is you don't know what causes these problems per se. You can go into the event viewer and try to get clues. I recommend that you learn how to use the event viewer. I should probably check on my water right now, actually. Learn how to use event viewer to try to diagnose. There can be many reasons that cause these blue screens. It could be virus, malware, spyware, adware, hijacker, ransomware, blah, blah. It can, you know, that kind of crap. It can also be drivers. It could be Windows updates. Some people were claiming that it was possible that Microsoft Windows 10 updates caused this blue screen with this error. Other people claimed that it was the drivers. When you were to upgrade your NVIDIA graphics driver, then all of a sudden you would start getting blue screens. This individual could not boot their computer into normal Windows 10 mode without a blue screen. He was lucky that he could even boot into Windows with safe mode. You know, Windows safe mode with networking. So here's some tips. On a computer that's having a problem, the first thing you can try is F8. Oh, that's right. The knuckleheads, the mental midgets, the uh, fucking, oh, I don't know what their problem is. Fuck Microsoft. Those clowns decided to disable the F8 menu. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Well, you fucking knuckleheads. You must realize that you've got hundreds of... Th this is an apropos time. There is 10,000 to 100,000 searches every month for this term. Windows 10 start menu does not work. Now, if Microsoft is such a great operating system developing company, why the fuck is there 10,000 to 100,000 searches each month for the term Microsoft Windows 10 or Windows 10 start menu not working? Why the fuck is that? Well, it's because really, in reality, Microsoft is a piece of shit technology company. I'm not saying that Macintosh is any better, excuse me, Apple. I'm not saying Apple or Google or YouTube or any of those, or Yahoo or any of those world order corporations are any better. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I tried to cut to the chase. I, I don't have sponsors. I could never get sponsors. I don't want sponsors. I'm not politically correct. I tell you the truth or I tell you how I see it. You may not like it. You may disagree. I don't give a fuck. Microsoft to me is not a legitimate company. I do not rely on Microsoft products. As a matter of fact, I'm working on getting rid of this computer that has Windows 10 because I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. I will have one Windows 10 machine so that I can make videos and I can demonstrate and I can help people and then I can also learn. I can, can, I can keep it updated and that way I, I, I am pun intended. That way I keep up to date with the knowledge with Microsoft Windows 10. But I have other projects. I have to get a Yagi or a directional 24 decibel long range antenna. And then I also need to get a Wi-Fi that will bridge a Wi-Fi signal. I need a wireless router that will bridge a Wi-Fi signal. So I need to get a router. And I need to f fix the issue where I have a very weak signal in this office. And according to me, the nation's worst internet service provider, Comcast Xfinity, continues to fuck me over and continues to cause me problems. I need to fix that so I can live stream again. And then I also have another project where I want to make videos showing you how to use free open source tools that you can take older computer hardware and you can turn them into thin clients. So I've got many projects on the horizon. And but no, I have to deal with this bullshit every day try, to try to make a living. I digress back. But eventually, I'm going to get rid of this Windows 10 machine, and then I'm going to load Linux, and I'll make sure I can screen capture and I can live stream. And then I will have one. And I and I might e I'm even thinking of using Linux. To Linux has some very excellent open source free virtual machine software that you are allowed to install Windows operating systems within Linux. You just have to make sure that you have, you know, legitimate certificate of authenticity product keys, which I do have. So eventually I'm going to have Windows 2000. I will have Windows XP. I will have Windows Vista. I will have Windows 7. Windows 8, I may not get 
that I may not even care. And then Windows 10. And then I can make videos on each operating system. And then I also need to get a a video graphics, a... I'd get distracted. I need to check by water. Okay, do it. Just do it. I know you want to do it. I know I know you goddamn fucking trolls. I know you motherfuckers on YouTube. Dislike this video because you're pissed off now that there was an interruption or that I don't, you know, script my videos or I don't read off a teleprompter. Fuck you. Just dislike it already. I don't give a shit about dislikes because I've studied YouTube and they don't affect your channel at all. There is no advantage. I could get... 1,000 dislikes on this video and only one like, it's not going to affect the metrics. It's all about the keywords, search engine optimization. All right. So I have many projects. You know what I'm saying? Check to scan didn't fix this problem. SFC scan, no. Now, it could be a driver's issue. What you might want to do is use your brain if you have any. Try to think outside of a box. Did you upgrade your video graphics drivers recently? If you did, you might want to, you know, search and investigate and, and or you could just revert those drivers. Now, another problem with this scenario was that Windows System Restore was not a viable solution because there were no restore points. There were no restore points. Here's a tip. Right now, I want you right now if you are interested in becoming more serious about maintaining your own computers and learning how to fix your own problems, even from somebody that doesn't have pale skin, even though from somebody that's not European, even though from a, I would get derogatory and, and throw out some racial slurs that, oh yes, the pale skin Europeans, they've called me race, racist slurs to my face. The S word, S, the S and then ends with a C, the B word, that ends with an R. Oh yeah, dirt, dirty this. Oh yes, yes, yes. Those goddamn pale skin Europeans have not changed since 1492. I'm not that fucking stupid. Create a restore point right now. Go into system restore. It's very easy on, on Windows 10. You just right click system. You could type in system restore create a restore point go in here right now you see right where I am pointed the mouse cursor create a restore point right now for the drives that have I've noticed this pattern with Microsoft now I don't know what the statistics are but this is not out of the realm of possibility a lot of times especially when I remotely connect into somebody's computer to help them or even I try to walk them through the system restore process and they tell me oh there's no restore points I was like so they might think I'm an idiot or I'm giving them false information this is a pattern I've noticed with Microsoft just because system restore works or it's functional or it's enabled that's another thing I've noticed sometimes it's not even enabled is that 
there have been no restore points created. So what you would do is, is click on create and then you can name it whatever you want. You might want to date it. You, you can do whatever you want. But the reason why I say put a date is because then let's say you put today's date, June 17th of 2018. I know, I know you motherfuckers, you're not supposed to date your videos. You're not supposed to mention the date that the video was created because five years from now, somebody will watch it and then they will listen or find out that this video was made five years ago in the past and they will bounce and they won't watch your video. Shut the fuck up with that bullshit rhetoric. I want to become free. I don't have rules necessary. I just freestyle everything. I just let nature take its course. I don't worry about dumb shit like that. It might be advantageous to put a date because then once you have that restore point created, let's say two months from now, you'll be like, oh, well, let me try to restore it back to June. Or you know what I'm saying? It did, in my opinion, it makes logical sense to put a date to help you know when that restore point was created. It might help you. So there, that's a gold tip in my opinion. Because at least now you have at, you have at least one restore point that you can work with. Now I need to study this further. I don't have time to study all these Microsoft issues. I don't. I'm not a fucking technology niche expert. It, that's impossible. Why the fuck would you even try? Why would you try to become a fucking technology expert? It, the, techno, the information technology is a category. It's not really, I don't even know if it's technically a niche. But let's say you want to become an information technology expert. That's impossible. There's so many problems that you would have to study and research. It could be that there's another problem with Microsoft Windows 10 that nobody's talking about. And that's the fact that it, that it does not create restore points. And even if you do create a restore point, it may not create restore points into the future. Or maybe that triggers it. But I have, this isn't the first time I've noticed on people's Windows 10 computers that sure enough, they went into restore point thinking that they could restore it back to before they were having problems and there were no restore points. Wah, 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 wah. Well, suffer the consequences when you continue to rely on a fucking piece of shit technology company with fucking piece of shit operating system called Windows 10. Okay, so that was a quick tip. Anything further? Let's see. Oh, reset this PC. I have another. Oops. I have another. Another. Here, let me go back. I, I kind of did demonstrate it a little bit. Well, anyways, I have another bone to pick with micro crap, micro shit, micro slop incorporated. Did you know that reset this PC? You cannot use that in safe mode. Now, why? They're so arrogant. I'm still trying to figure out these motherfuckers. I think they're so arrogant that they don't think that they have problems. I really think that most people that run Microsoft, they literally think that they have the world. They're narcissists. They think that their operating system is the best operating system on the planet and that they have very little problems, which is 180 degrees opposite from reality. Why the fuck would you create a tool called Reset This PC and then make it not accessible in safe mode? So can you see the frustration? Oh, system restore. Oh, oh, there's no restore point. Oh, now you can kick off a system restore in safe mode. However, you cannot use Reset This PC in safe mode. Well, what if your fucking computer blue screens? And you can't boot it into normal mode. Then what's the point of fucking having a tool called Reset This PC? Ah, <sighs> well, this w is where it requires more advanced tactics. With Microsoft Windows 10, you can create a recovery disk or well, a recovery drive. You can recreate a recovery drive. If you have another computer with Microsoft Windows 10, here's how you do it. You can just go into Cortana and type in recovery drive. Create and then select create a recovery drive. Say yes. Now, 
let me point this uh, this is very important if you leave the default which is what I think is probably most productive but it's up to you if you notice there's a checkbox and there's already a check placed in the checkbox back up system files to the recovery drive well you know what that allows you to do if you leave it alone and you allow the system files to get backed up guess what it allows you to reinstall micro crap micro slop micro shit wind blows 10 operating system so I would think it would be very productive for you for, to just leave the checkbox in place and back up your system files because you never know you never know when you just say fuck it I'm done with this shit you know I'll slave the drive I will get I will recover my data I will have to reload the programs but I'm done with this fucking bullshit and then you'll be able to reinstall Windows 10 if you uncheck this then the system files do not get backed up I'm gonna click next just to demonstrate it takes a little while it, it, it is trying to mount a flash drive the drive must be able to hold at least 512 megabytes <coughs> excuse me I just ate some steel cut oats and I think I think I tried to make this video too soon after eating anyways so you're gonna need a USB flash drive now I'm not a, I thought that you could use a DVD D disc a DVD you know burn to a DVD but it doesn't look like it that's another beef I have with Microsoft try to make it you know what if somebody doesn't have a flash drive but they might have a spare DVD disc around that they could burn to but you know you know what I'm saying okay so you're gonna need a, a flash drive with at least 512 megabytes and it's gonna wipe everything okay so you're gonna lose lose all that data very important but I recommend that you go back and you just accept the default and allow the flash drive creation to also include the system files because then you can reinstall Windows 10 so that that is drastic measures but that's basically what this individual had to do now the flash drive allows you to boot off of it and you can get into the advanced boot options menu I think probably the repair the repair option the command prompt with administrator rights you might be able to use system restore but if there's no restore points you're fucked you might now reset this PC I'm not a hundred percent certain because I haven't tested it this is this is why I have many projects and one of them is I really need to get Windows 2000 Windows XP Vista 7 even 8 and 10 all installed and probably the best way would be a virtual machine so that I can make I can just make all kinds of technology videos showing you how to do this on each individual operating system believe it or not once in a while on this third party website we get requests for a Windows 2000 operating system I I still use it I have a laptop with Windows 2000 you know what I'm saying when you create a recovery drive I'm not sure if you can kick off or reset this PC I'm assuming you can you know why I assume that because during the creation of the recovery drive it says that it can back up your system files well reset this PC is another way that you can reinstall Windows so let me demonstrate that and then I need to run vamanos vamanos well where do you want to go to where do you want to go today Aaron I know you want a blue screen Aaron god damn it Aaron quit criticizing Microsoft I'm gonna make sure that all your computers blue screen even your future Macintosh and your Linux computers Aaron I'm I've had enough Aaron all right reset this PC type in reset this PC select reset this PC it does not fucking work in safe mode that fucking pisses me off and irritates me all right you know why because I was helping this customer remotely and that's one of the options I tried and I was like oh my god system file check didn't fix it oh my god there's no viruses oh my god there's no you know malware oh my god oh my god just oh oh the, the customer even agreed to it the customer when I told him look you know you can't use system restore because there's no restore points and you know that and I know that well I've got this other option now you may have to reinstall the pro he was like I just want the fucking computer to work I don't want the blue screens so he was all for it 
And then guess what? You cannot use reset this PC in safe mode. What the fuck kind of logic is that? It's boneheaded, fucking, you know, just mental midgeted lack of logic. Reset this PC. Now click on get started. Right there. Come on. There it goes. Now, you need to become aware of two main points. Now, reset this PC is a little bit different than system restore. System restore generally does not touch your personal data and does not touch your programs. Reset this PC does. Now, reset this PC will not touch your personal files, but it will remove all your software applications, all your software programs. However, this customer still was okay with that because he wanted, he just wanted his goddamn fucking Windows 10 computer to stop blue screening. So that's the first choice. The second choice is remove everything. And it is self-explanatory. It, it actually wipes the hard drive and I think it formats it. So it's going to remove everything. However, if you just want to get Windows 10 running again, working again, then you can reinstall Windows 10. You know what I'm saying? And this is a very, that's a good tool. Let's say you're going to give away your computer or you're going to resell it. You don't want it anymore, but you want to wipe all your important, your personal files and you don't want any obvious traces of your data, then I would recommend remove everything. About, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I had a customer that actually, when I told them they had that option, they that was perfect for them because in their scenario now I'll just kick, click on the top one this won't take long now it does warn you okay and it gives you a list of all the programs you see all these it's gonna remove all of this you know what I'm saying but it is a way to fix Windows 10 now I'm not gonna click reset but once you click reset it goes through the process reboots and removes all your programs and then changes all your settings back to default, including drivers. And then it reinstalls Windows without the personal files getting removed. You know what I'm saying? So check out Reset This PC. However, it's not available in safe mode. But you know, you know what? I think I did try it once or twice. I think Reset This PC is the tool that the recovery drive uses if you want to reinstall Windows 10, it's the same, you know, the F8 advanced boot options menu for Windows 10, the recovery drive, when you boot off of it, it's basically you get all the op the same options. You know what I'm saying? So, drast you know, drastic times n requires drastic measures. So, where do you want to go today? And let me wrap this up. In 1995... When Windows 95 was first demonstrated live on stage by that shill, according to me, Bill Gates. And he powered on that computer and that computer tried to boot Windows X, excuse me, 95. Well, it blue screened. Well, you fast forward 23 years later. And you, I lived through the Windows 95 days. Nothing has changed in Microsoft land. I don't even know. I would almost argue it's possible that I could argue or somebody else could argue that Microsoft Windows 10 is a fucking big or bigger pile of shit than Windows 95. You could argue that Windows 10 is worse than Windows 95. That's another project. I want to actually load Windows 95 and I have Windows 98 second edition. Now, and I have Windows 2000. Now, I do not have Windows Millennium Edition, although I do have Windows NT 4.0. I want to load all of those operating systems. I've always wanted to just... I love technology because it allows me to avoid 98% of mankind, and that's where I leave you. Adios!